complex numbers. What do you mean by triangular inequality? It is nothing but modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2. How to prove this? As I told you, if we take this modulus value, it will have simply number. So we cannot proceed easily. So better to come out of this number. How to come out of this number? By squaring it. You know this property. That is, modulus of z square is z into z bar. So if you square it, you will have two complex numbers in this way. That is, z into z bar. Now, z is also having imaginary part with i and this is also having imaginary part. So using these two complex numbers, we can use our complex numbers properties very easily and we can prove this triangular inequality. So better square this modulus and you can come out of number and it will become just like two complex numbers like this formula right so modulus of z1 plus z2 the whole square is equal to z1 plus z2 into z1 plus z2 the whole part that is modulus of a complex number square is nothing but that complex number into that conjugate the same way this complex number and uh, this conjugate and its conjugate right this is z1 plus z2 the whole bar we have formula for this that is z1 plus z2 the whole bar is nothing but z1 bar plus z2 bar so we can split like that so this will become like z1 plus z2 into z1 bar plus z2 bar now let us try to multiply this that is z1 into z1 bar z1 into z2 bar z2 into z1 bar z2 into z2 bar right so these two complex numbers are multiplied as below right now z1 into z1 bar is in this format that is z into z bar can be written as modulus of z square so this can be written as modulus of z1 square you may wonder why I am trying to do like this because uh, uh, we came out of modulus for using the complex number properties. Anyhow, we have to go back again to the modulus. So, right, using these, that is, using this property z into z bar that can be converted into modulus of z square. So, this can be written as modulus of z1 square. The same way, this can be written as modulus of z2 square. Right. This is one part. Another one part, if you see these two complex numbers, here it is z1 and here it is z1 bar. So, conjugate of this. Here it is z2 bar. Here it is z2. That is, conjugate of z2 bar is z2. So, if this is a complex number, this is nothing but its conjugate. So, you can replace this totally and you can write this complex number here and you can put a bar on it. So, this is our complex number. Certainly, this is its conjugate. So, we can write in this manner. Modulus of z1 square plus z1 into z2 bar. And for this complex number, again bar. And for this modulus of z2 square. If you see this is z1 bar, z2 bar and to that whole bar, these two bar cancelled one another and your answer is z2. That's good. So, this is a complex number. This is its conjugate. You know this property. If we add a complex number with its conjugate, we'll have only its real part. This is the old property. You know it. z plus z bar is equal to 2 into real part of z. This property uh, we proved a little bit before. Right. Little time before. So, we can apply this formula here. Instead of uh, z plus z bar, we can write this as 2 into real part of z. So, it will become modulus of z1 square plus 2 into real part of 
this complex number is a 2 into is a 2 bar plus modulus of is a 2 square right now uh, this is in modulus this is in modulus but this is not in modulus so let us try to do one thing let us try to convert this into modulus if we change this real part of a complex number into modulus of a complex number will it have any effect yes surely it will have an effect because you know this property real part of z is less than or equal to modulus of z in case if you replace this by modulus value that means you are removing a smaller value and you are entering a bigger value. So here this smaller value is replaced by a bigger value modulus of z in case if you want to make this into modulus value. So till this, uh, this left hand side and right hand side are equal to one another. In case if we replace this real part by modulus value, certainly they two will not be equal to one another. This right hand side will become bigger. Hence, it will become like this. Modulus of z1 square plus 2 into modulus of z1 into z2 bar plus modulus of z2 square. And this equal to symbol is replaced by greater than or equal to because, you know, real part of a complex number value is very small if you compare with its modulus value. Here real part is replaced by the same complex numbers modulus value. So certainly this value will be lesser and this value will be greater. So equal to will be converted into greater. So now you, if you read this totally, z1 plus z2, the whole square, the modulus, the whole square is less than or equal to modulus of z1 square plus 2 into modulus of z1 into z2 bar plus modulus of z2 square. Right. Now let us apply the next property. That is, modulus of z1 into z2 can be written as modulus of z1 into modulus of z2. In the same way, we can split it. So, our answer will be uh, modulus of z1 square plus 2 into modulus of z1 into modulus of z2 bar plus modulus of z2 square. Right. But here is modulus of z2 bar. But in the property, there is no bar. Is there a way to uh, remove this bar? Yes. We have a property that is modulus of z bar is equal to modulus of z. So, uh, modulus of z2 bar can be written as modulus of z. So, this can be changed in this way. That is modulus of z1 square plus 2 into modulus of z1, modulus of z2 plus modulus of z2 square. It is in the form a square plus 2ab plus b square can be simplified as a plus b the whole square. So this can be written as modulus of z1 separately and modulus of z2 separately here it is not like this modulus of z2 separately modulus of z2 separately whole square so we can write uh, by taking square root we can write this as modulus of z1 plus z2 is less than or equal to modulus of z1 plus modulus of z2 so now we have proved this property it is very very uh, simple uh, you keep this this is modulus of z1 and this is modulus of z2 separately right now, uh, the same way you can uh, try to prove uh, the same triangular inequality model, there's another thing you, have, you can prove that you try by yourself, right? That is, modulus of z1 minus z2 is greater than or equal to absolute value of modulus of z1 minus modulus of z2. Try to do this following the same method what we followed for modulus of z1 plus z2. Thank you.